Hey girl, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today, y'all, we're just gonna play in some makeup. I've been feeling a little down. I don't know if it's like a little bit of depression or just failure. Like, I don't know, y'all, this week is <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling down. So, we're gonna play in some makeup, actually some colorful makeup, and we're gonna talk about the products. That's just what we're gonna do, okay? So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do or did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up. Oh, turn your post notification to all. That bell, press it, select all and you'll be notified every time that I upload. These products that I'm going to be playing in, y'all know how I like to build a makeup tray. Oh, disclaimer, if y'all hear my fan, it's a little baby fan up in here. If y'all hear it, please excuse it, work with me. I do film in my garage and baby summer hit like three months ago seems like okay so work with me don't come for me too bad don't click off it'll get better one day okay it, it, it'll get better one day so we're gonna start off by moisturizing our face with the clean and clear watermelon gel moisturizer they sold these at Walmart and I got it when it first launched but I do believe that they are discontinuing this because I remember seeing it on the clearance. <gasps> I thought I had a booger. <laughs> if I could find it, I will link it for y'all. I need to put on my primer, which is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And if y'all see me looking down here, it's because my monitor is over here, but my mirror is over here so that I could kind of see both. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I think this Too Faced primer has had it. It do kind of smell on the Fado side, but I don't think this had a scent. Well, it says with coconut water in it, so maybe it was to smell like coconut, but I think this is probably no good. I'm gonna use this NYX Born Glow Liquid Illuminator and it's in Gleam. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Oh, and to tell y'all, this silk bonnet is from Yanni's Best on Amazon. Y'all can find their bonnets in different colors. Y'all can find satin pillow cases in different colors. They sent me this bonnet. Let me tell y'all, I really like it. The band right here, you actually tie it in the front, but it's stretchy enough that it wraps around my little peanut head and I'm able to tie it at the back instead of having a big bow at the front. I only did that for the video because I didn't want the floppy bow to be in the front. Honestly, it stays on all night. It does not slip off. So if y'all are looking for a good satin bonnet that you could tie around and hold tight to, Go check out Yanni Best on Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I do get a small kickback from my Amazon storefront, but it doesn't cost you anything extra to click and purchase you a satin body. And they are affordable. So I am going to go in with the Even New York Secret of Pharaoh brow pencil, and it's in natural black. If you guys caught my boxy charm unboxing i have been using the closest brow growth serum i don't know if it's working yet because i only been using it i think for like maybe three days so far i will be giving y'all an update sooner than later i haven't been recording it because nobody said they wanted like a day-to-day -day review so i haven't been recording it i've just been using it myself i mean i was gonna use it anyway <laughs> but i haven't been recording it because nobody said they wanted to see a review on it even has been um even evan 
however y'all want to pronounce it. I know everybody has been wanting to cancel them. I've been on, I was on their PR list for a good minute. So I have a lot of their products. So if y'all don't want to see me use their products, I completely understand. I'm not gonna say I don't think my channel or my voice is gonna make a difference, but I think y'all come down on the celebrities and bigger creators a whole lot more. I'm gonna use my Merit Concealer in Amber. Merit sent me these products in PR and I love, 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 love their stuff. That's not gonna work for me because it's a cream. So I'm gonna pull out my Too Faced Butterscotch Concealer just to clean up my brows, but I will go back to the Merit. Are really catching up with my videos you should be but I did speak on in my June shop my stash that I lost a lot of my clips from I lost a lot of my clips from me previously recording so much and trying to trying to be like that big youtuber status like I tried to back up everything from my SD card to my hard drive somehow between the sd card and the hard drive to the computer like transferring it over i lost a lot of my footage it deleted some type of way i don't know if the video of me using these brushes are even still my hard drive but these brushes i got from energy these brushes are sold on amazon as well they sent me over two brushes let me find it they sent me over two brushes to review and test out here are the two brushes oh no i think it was three honestly so here are the three bl brushes that they sent me this is the energy 270 mini it's a concealer brush like i used it for my nose in my last video here is the energy 170 it is a foundation kabuki and then here is the bigger concealer brush this is a 270 as well and it's a bigger one as y'all see me using it to pat out this concealer over my eyes i use this one for the small spaces and i use this one for foundation of course if you guys would like to purchase these brushes they are very affordable and they are on amazon thank you energy cosmetics for sending me these brushes i love them these are going to be some of my favorite go-to brushes from here on out as you can tell they really work it doesn't leave streaks on your eyes or on your face the bristles don't fall out they're dense compact it all all three of them got an angle to it and they work so good so moving back in i am gonna go into this wet and wild limited edition pride palette y'all i bought this last year at a walgreens and never did i use it and since we're in pride month girl why not i've been on youtube nine years now if you guys have been following me y'all know that like i'm a big fan of wet and wild i have high hopes for this palette now i do have a few more palettes little palettes we're just gonna try to make this one palette work and i am gonna try to make it as colorful as possible but we don't have or we have a lot of mattes but they're not like all workable mattes so sephora color switch this bh cosmetics brush is one of my faves like i can't live without this so i'm gonna go in with the yellow 
and we're gonna start with it and I'm gonna go on the highest part of my bra bone I mean of my eyelid right before the bra bone and if you know me you know that I love to pat my eyeshadows in before I actually blend and when I blend I blend really really lightly once again the colors are playing way brighter on camera than they are in person so to me i see a dull yellow to you guys from what it looks like on the monitor is showing as a bright yellow i think i'm going to go into the orange which to you all it looks it looks brown but actually this is the brown but i'm going to go in with the orange with the same fluffy brush that one looks like it's gonna be pigmented and I'm gonna go right here now that is playing dull to y'all and bright to me like that bad boy is showing me but it's not the worst I've seen now I think I'm gonna go with the brown that's next to it with the opposite side of the brush and I'm going to place it in the outer and meet it like marry the two that brown is not the best I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm gonna try to create a flawless so it won't look so harsh let's go in with some more of the concealer yes I'm still using the butterscotch I'm just about to take the energy 270 again and I'm just gonna going to pat this out I am gonna go in with this gold color and I don't know if I should go on my finger or on my brush but we're gonna try to brush it seems to be a shimmer oh that's pretty that's gorgeous I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter champagne color and I'm gonna put it on a pencil brush and I'm probably gonna do this again because normally I don't do this. I just wanted to see what she gives. I don't know you guys. I normally could play with some colors and make something happen. But these colors are not like playing well. I gotta give it I, I gotta give it a chance. I gotta give it a chance. You know what? Lashes always make it better. I don't have no liquid liner out, so we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna move on to the face and then we'll come back to finish. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in Cafe. Yeah, I get so focused on the look and these eyebrows that I be forgetting that I'm recording. So good thing Y'all don't get to see the dead spots because, girl, I was so focused just now. And I forgot to put on my color corrector. Let's go back to plan in our concealer, Amber by Merit. 
This concealer is really great for those days you don't want to wear heavy makeup. It'll give you that light coverage, <clears throat> that light coverage you're looking for. So I think I am going to mix it with a little bit of butterscotch. I won't even put it on a lot, I promise. I'm going to put butterscotch right here. And while that air dries a little, I am gonna take my Merit Bronze Bomb and Monarch. Y'all, this looks very intimidating, very, but I promise. Once you blend it out, it literally comes together. Sit that one to the side for a little minute because I need to use it on my forehead, but I need to move. I'm gonna need to move the headband. So here's that 270 mini. I'm gonna go right down the center. And I'm using a 270 to catch the middle of my forehead. But once I bring this all the way up, I'm gonna take swap out. left of the foundation I'm gonna blend in the wrist so I am gonna take the 170 and I'm going to blend out the contour y'all please don't pay no attention y'all not even gonna see that in a minute you know I use the liquid bald hold to do my hair and for one it makes your lace a little crunchy and for two it doesn't um it doesn't stay you get like a day or two and that's with wearing it down this is what we're looking like. We're gonna take that Ciate London Vacate every day and we're going to set our concealer spots. glow all over face powder mm, and I don't know what made me tell y'all that considering I only told y'all about the energy brushes I don't know I'm gonna spray my face a little bit with the Milani whoa, with the Milani Rose water prep and hydrate let's bronze up our face using the Olimar cosmetics complexion trio I really think I'm gonna just use this one I don't really want to use too much because I'm trying to keep the face lighter then the eye look. As I dig deeper into the contour. So with the highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the crayon case on a roll highlighter. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit and catch 
the highest points. I told y'all she was gonna come together. I needed to trust myself. Trust myself a little bit. I'm gonna use my Merit Brow Gel. It's the Brow Pomade in Brow 1980. I'm gonna use it just to set my brows a little bit. This outlook could have been way better, but. I'm not gonna judge it too hard. So I don't think about it too much, too much. We're gonna go back to the eyes for a little second, but first let me put this mascara on. And this is the Essence Lash Princess Lash Effect. I think I'm gonna go in with the blue by Morphe. Um, this is delightful. I think I'm going to go in with that one to hit my waterline. Honestly, on camera, it's more popping than it is in person. And I honestly feel like my LA Girl shockwaves are more boom pow than this. Okay, I'm going to take this little shader brush and I'm going to dip into this blue. Try to press it into my water right underneath my waterline and I'm trying to keep it from falling out that makes it look better even though again the look could have been better all right so oh we're gonna put the mascara on our bottom lashes and I'm gonna pop on some falsies and I'll be right back there we go and y'all if y'all see this black spot which it doesn't look like you can see it on camera if you can by the time I'm editing baby let's put on some cheeks which is my NARS Taj Mahal blush I'm going to put some of that on real quick. I don't even know if this... Oh yeah, you see it? It's almost like a shimmer blush. Which... I've been dying to use this blush for so long. And now that I look at it, I don't even like shimmer blushes. <laughs> mm. She don't look bad, but I don't like shimmer blush because it just looks like too much for me the way I love to overpack blush. I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Lip and Boss Lady. I'm going to use it to line my lips. I kind of use this as a lip liner from time to time. And I try to get off as much product as possible when doing this yes i love to overline my lips i'll try my best every time and if i keep trying it over and over every single time i'm gonna finally get it down one day okay i'm gonna get it down case clean kisses lip gloss who else does their makeup and wear your contacts do your contacts ever like go foggy when you're doing your makeup I can't be the only one all right I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't want to make it look like too many colors but Let's spread his face down. 
I knew the look would come together. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come together at the end. It could be better, but it did it did a good job. Even though I still feel like the eyeshadow look could have came out better, she's cute. She's giving, I thought she was going to be giving pride vibes, but she's really giving sunset vibes. So here's a good sunset look to go for during the summer. The pop of blue on the bottom gives it that ocean feel. If you get what I'm saying, just imagine with me, okay? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notification on and set it to all. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Deuces.